Click. Click. Really, we want to go back to the computer to do it? That's all that's working. There we go. First new company is called the Alien Attack. And they're going to be making uh, add on kits for figures. They're going to start off uh, by doing Human Alliance Lead Foot. Uh, so we're going to have a much more movie accurate looking record team. Right? So this is their first, first soiree. Okay. Really cool looking stuff. Very new though, right? So this is their first shot, but it does have a lot of appeal to it. Donut Productions. If you guys are familiar, Donut is a uh, fan turned pro. Okay, he's going to be starting off with G1 uh, upgrade kits for the Combiner Wars line. Uh, it's going to include stuff like elbow fillers and thigh fillers and new uh, hard plastic antennas. Uh, for Superion and a new hard, uh, hard plastic nose cones. It's going to include a new head for Metasaur, rubber tires for Prime and Motormaster, uh, wind paint to cover up the, uh, the hands and combine them to give it more of a G1 look. New hands and feet, articulated uh, wrists and, and elbows, or, sorry, angles. Uh, <coughs> Defensor will also come with a uh, articulated neck. Again, uh, elbow fillers, new hands and feet. And they're also going to be doing a uh, uh, G1, sorry, no, the IDW Prowl Stator. Uh, and we'll be seeing more of that uh, in the next few months. He didn't have any stuff to show us just yet, but it's stuff that he wanted me to let you guys know what's coming. So he's going to be trying out. He's going to be trying out this little figure. So yeah, the Bad Break RV is a double figure combiner. So you can kind of guess what those two figures are going to be. <laughs> Next attempt will be <laughs> Okay, so this <laughs> stealth figure with his minion. And he's gonna have more images, more info at uh, TF.USA. The unrustable bastards. We got to talk with these guys last year. Um, they're gonna be a crowdsourced project. Uh, they do need your support and effort, uh, and they need all the help they can get. Because this is an amazing looking line. Uh, as you can see, it is a rider and a large vehicle. The rider turns into the chest. The previous one was I ride the leader. This is Burley, the road captain. They come with a lot of different things. Different heads for the riders, different heads for the big mech, different guns, lots of accessories, lots of opportunities for different play patterns. And there it is, an example of the robot uh, rider turning into the robot chest. Excellent looking figures. Again, these are just uh, renders for now. But after this panel is done, what they're going to have on their Facebook account is if you go and you like and you subscribe and you join up with them, they're actually going to give you an opportunity to see a 360 degree uh, of one of their figures. Okay, so like and support them on Facebook page. The Mayhem Mechanics presents Unrustable Bastards is the exclusive 3D turnaround. And I'm really looking forward to it. So I want this panel over so I can look at it. Keith's Fantasy Club. New logo, going for new stuff. Okay? So he's going to continue uh, Masterpiece style of figures. This is their version of Reflector. Okay. Uh, very G1 looking. But that seems to be the thing nowadays. Masterpiece style G1 look. Okay? <laughs> I like the Interdrop cubes. I like the short stacks. That's really cool. Okay? <laughs> yeah, that, maybe they are talents. You don't know. Okay, there's the accessories. The, the flash turns into a gun, this part turns into a gun, that part turns into a gun. Pretty familiar stuff. But they look good, they look promising. Another familiar face, appalling in the background. Now, there's no ETN release for these figures, but as we can see, they are in the tech shot phase, so they'll be coming out soon. Making stacks. Fat stacks. <laughs> <laughs> His camera mode looks sharp. Okay, played with this too. Another crowdfunded uh, endeavor. Uh, we were lucky enough to have these guys with us at TF on USA last year. Uh, Boneyard. Uh, we're an action master figure. It's basically it's a big, nice, articulated toy. Uh, different head, different set of hands, lots of armor, uh, removable pieces. 
he can combine his weapons into a super weapon. He comes with a big cool looking dinosaur head shield, and he comes with a robot looking head as well. Okay? So again, this will be, like I said, is a crowd source figure. I uh, will actually have this in the case tomorrow. Along with the previous uh, figure, Desolator. Yeah, very detailed look. If you guys like your Marvel style figures, this works just for them. There's this super weapon and a wicked cool hair. The shield that she becomes hair. <laughs> Back to you. Again, another company that's making very good uh, headway in very G1 cartoon looking figures. This is their lineup back when they used to be associated with uh, Cubex all the way up to the recent releases uh, right to kick back. Actually, the three insects you can actually buy in the showroom right now in the value pack. So there's a good looking lineup. You can see Claymore, Hypno, and Kick Butt, the version of the Bugs. Okay, so they come in a few different options. So you can get the value pack, it includes all three, uh, includes the weapons and, and underdog cubes. Uh, and then they will be releasing a collector's edition that will include chrome weapons, die cast, the collector posters, and a few other surprises that they plan on revealing here. Okay, now there are a very small chance, half a percent, that you can get a Chiefs clear version uh, if you buy the collector's pack. If you're guys like me and you like transmitting figures, I'll buy like six or seven eight six trying to find one. Yeah, I'm the next sir, uh, <laughs> their next offering is their Warrior Sun Surge, obviously. Sun Streaker, and a good looking Sun Streaker at back. Okay, very masterpiece scale, very G1 cartoon. Now this hand cannon. It will come with a bunch of different accessories as well. You see the front, that uh, backside. <laughs> it's a target. Good looking vehicle. Pairs up well with his brother. So he's going to have uh, fully cured yellow paint. He's going to have uh, different uh, accessories as well. Chrome wheels, silver rims. We'll go back. Uh, one set of silver rims, chrome rims, different uh, uh, missile pods for his hands, and accessories. So this is due out sometime in October. This is just a rough mock up of what the box is going to look like. So again, we'll see more of this uh, at GF9 USA. Cloud 9, a newcomer taking a familiar product and bringing it to us again. So they're doing their version of Shockwave called Quick Blast. Uh, pretty standard stuff, masterpiece style figure. Uh, it will include some die cast. It has LED lights in the eyes, chest, and hand cannon. Pretty familiar figure, if you're familiar with another version of Shockwave out there. Okay. He does come with two different nozzles for the gun. His space gun mode, right? So you have a very G1 toy look, or a part that transforms actually into the backpack. Masterpiece showdown. Space gun. It's not a handgun, it's a space gun. Flies through space, shooting stars. DX9. Okay, DX9 has been doing excellent work. They've, uh, they've got their own Legends line. They have a Masterpiece style of line. We're gonna start off just revisiting some of their Legends figures. Uh, they did a version of Blur and Ironhide called Speedo and Gartanel. They also did their version of uh, Ratchet and Scourge, Plague and Metal Lance. And they've also done Galvatron and Cyclonus, which was Tyrant and Hurricane. And there's the gang together. Great looking, especially for like Legends figures like I do. Yeah, I, I gotta get these things, they're awesome. Now what they're gonna be doing after these guys they're going right into a combiner, a legend scale combiner called Hulky. Obviously Devastator, and the six figures transform and combine, and what's okay, and all the parts are connected inside. There he is with the old Legends Megatron, and here he is with their new Legends Megatron, Mightron. They've got a four inch, fully transformable, wheelable little Legends figure. I like the Energon base, solid call. <coughs> Carrie. Carrie is in her display case. He's a wonderful Studio Ox inspired masterpiece style Rodimus Prime. Comes with a large target master, a lot of detail. 
And then, oh, hey, look, ironic, that's <laughs> Proto Man. Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, so I, heard, I heard someone talk about uh, Rodimus Prime. Maybe I should get up there. <laughs> oh, Proto Man, dude, come on. <laughs> so, the next figure. Oh. I don't want to see that, right? Shattered glass version of Harry called Terror, including Sweet Goatee. <laughs> this is their, uh, their third party Turbo Changer line. Uh, Chegger, obviously it's uh, Astro Train. They've done a great job of it. He's a large, beefy figure. And they're going to continue that on with their next figure wow. called Pay Waltz. And you can see a couple of the teasers there in the background. I'll let you guys figure that stuff out for yourselves. Iron Factory. I was just going on about those legend style figures. Here's some of their previous works, right? They did uh, uh, Manico and Turret, which worked with Metroplex. And there's their own ones as well. Okay, the Dark uh, Blaster and Steel John Ramorn. Very IDW inspired. They're not cassettes anymore, they're tags. And they also turn into a little chair that you can pilot inside Metroplex. <laughs> Iron Maiden, uh, probably the best version of Wembley we've got so far, yep. is a Legends version, it and it's adorable. <laughs> yeah, they knocked this one into the park, just killed it. You see it? Ultra Magnus, again, uh, I don't have a lot of Legends figures that have like articulated shoulders, ball jointed feet, but it's a very solid, well-built figure. Very G1 looking, all mode. And now it comes in the classic color as well. So if you were unfortunate enough to miss the first one, you'll actually be able to get a more cartoon accurate version down the line. Going on to the next project, we're going to be doing the Dreamwave version of the Dinobots, the LSC. Okay, they don't have official names for them yet, but we have these resin prototypes as well in the display case. We're going to do IDW Prowl as well. So if you're a big fan of the comics, you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it comes a little tape that you can freak out. <laughs> okay, everything's catchable, interchangeable. <laughs> and then the next Evil Lord, uh, obviously, is Overlord. Very, very IDW inspired. Comes with the sword, comes with the gun, can do his base mode, can do both of his individual modes. He can stab Ultra Magnus. <laughs> stabby, stabby. And there he is with the other options that they have. New company called Transform and Rollout. Uh, they'll be doing Masterpiece style figures as well. <coughs> Their first offer is going to be Hova, H to the Izzo, V to the Izzo. Their version of Jazz. Okay, and you see a few different versions, or a few different uh, uh, claim patterns. He's going to have the grappling hook, he's going to have a different face. Uh, you can transform the, the wings differently for a cartoon look. Mm. Yeah. It comes with the, the speakers, that they can also attach to the hips. Here's the resin prototype. We actually have this robot mode resin prototype as well. We're going to put that in tomorrow. But it's a very solid looking figure. Okay, here he is next to both of me. Looks good. Perfect effect. <laughs> We're going to be starting off with a new brain of courage for Star Saber called Wisdom. It's just a little more detailed, a little more articulated. Okay. Now we're going into more combiner uh, upgrade kits, uh, different sets. Yeah. I need to make a request. If you are in the back or along the aisles, you are a fire hazard. Please find a seat. There's plenty in the middle. I'm sure people have showered, <laughs> but at the moment you're blocking the doorway, you're blocking the exits. It's a little dangerous. Continue. Perfect. Thank you very much for that show. So as you can see, they're going to be doing upgrade kits for the different style of combiners. Uh, there will be different uh, amounts of sets you can buy. You can buy just hands and feet, or you can buy uh, face, neck and chest. And you can see there's different colors as well. You can have the uh, old one black, the old five white. You can get an old three purple from uh, uh, Metasaur. I mean, look how much better that makes. All right, it's pretty decent to pick them up. Okay, and there you see that progression original, just the hands. And all three. Here's an idea of what it looks like with Venusaur. Okay, it includes uh, all that bring up, allows you to just load them out with guns. Okay, and there's an idea of what the chest piece, the, the blade extension, and the face look like. 
I think it looks a lot better once you fix those hips. Yeah. And if I look that good, I'd be calling it in too. <laughs> okay, so there is with Defensor as well. Defensor, we just have the hands and feet for now. They may be doing another set down the line, but they do look good. Their PCO6 set will be able to turn a Titan Class Devastator into Prowl Stator. So you know, you'll get a better spoiler. You'll get a, <laughs> yeah, by the way. You'll get a, uh, a new feet, uh, new hands, new accessories. <coughs> There's the Prowl Head. If you take off the head, there's problems head underneath. <laughs> so you can see different uh, modifications they've made to the individual figures. The shoulder joints become orders for the for the hand cannons. And then they're also doing a set to give G1 guns and to give elbows to the figures that don't have elbows. It's a good looking team. We're also doing a kit for the Optimus Prime. Nothing fancy. New feet, new hands, new breastplate. New figure, uh, Lionitis. We revealed this last year. Uh, and now we actually have a sample of it in the case as well. It's mostly die cast. It's got 60 points of articulation. It could probably be you know, <laughs> a very solid figure. Uh, and a really cool homage to a very obscure character. It has a lot of different accessories, swords, guns, it's got a whip, it's got a crossbow, it all kind of combines into the back so it all seamlessly blends in. I mean, not too many figures can pull off that kind of hand pose. Voodoo Robots. Okay, Voodoo Robots are a new company as well. They're going to be venturing into the Masterpiece style. Okay, and their first uh, offerings are two new Iron Hide and Ratchets. Now, I know we do have a new Masterpiece Iron Hide coming out. Maybe that's not your thing. So we do have options. Okay, so their first figure, Salus, the healing potion, uh, in half inches tall, and articulated. Your typical masterpiece style, you know, a little bit bigger than the regulars. And then second, Animus, the defensive potion. Okay, a retool of Ratchet. They look good together, though. Very good. And this is a little stab at the animation of our <laughs> Generation Toy. Another new company going to be going into a masterpiece style of the fire. So they're going to be starting off with the Constructicons. This is their version of Bone Crusher Scavenger. You see Long Haul and Hook. And you see uh, Scrapper and Mixmaster. Now here you see the first color shots. They look pretty good. Now these aren't final, these are test shots. There will be more detail added afterwards. But I like that mix master, he doesn't have a lot of that back table hanging out. Like an entire mixing drum. Okay, there they are, beautiful mode. Very sharp looking. And here he is with uh, another masterpiece of vehicle. And here he is combined. And we'll actually have this prototype out on a table after the show tonight. He's big. He doesn't fit in at all, so you gotta go find something different for him. Hey, fans toys. Everyone loves fans toys. The things that they're coming in with soon, they're Iron Diebox Stomp. Very faithful G1 Sludge. Coolest accessory yet. <laughs> and he looks great with the other Diebox. They're getting into the Masterpiece style Insecticons as well. And they offer different options, right? There's weapon storage. And you can see here, their version of uh, Trapple has a cartoon chest and a clear chest. It'll have uh, different methods of, of transforming. So you have like different more insect legs or cartoon image legs. Kickbacks looking sharp too. Same thing, solid chest, transmission chest. And a good looking effort. Okay, there they are, a pair, or as a trio, I should say. And I'll say, I'm sure it'll always be. New masterpiece style of Hound, Willie. A couple of different options. 
No, I don't. Quick waiver issue. This is what everyone wants. This is what everyone's been asking for for years. So we're getting a quick waiver issue. It's going to be a slightly different, it's just a tinge different in colors so people can kind of tell it apart. Then they're going to be doing a clear version. Again, I'm a chump, so I'll probably buy this. And then they're going to be doing a more cartoon accurate version of Shockwave. Deep Sea Toys. They'll also be uh, bringing a few new things. So they're bringing back their Primars line, which is their chibi primary school figures. Okay? Their uh, version of Hercules, the one set before, is now a chibi figure. Uh, and it disassembles. Now, the individual components, they don't transform, but he does separate into his basement. <coughs> I'm going to bring Iron Will will be their first of uh, their masterpiece style figures. Again, so we have another iron hide to choose from. Okay. <laughs> so many, so many iron hides. It's a beefy looking figure. Comes with a lot of different accessories. A big gun. Got a hand cannon, he's got his old school gun. Got a flip up data pad, he's got the sonar on the other end. Obligatory G1 proof shot. Ratchet, their obvious uh, retool. I like a figure, I like them. I'm impressed. Yeah. So again, they look good as a group. They good, uh, and I'm sure they will have more coming. Their next offering after that will be Detective, and that's their version of Hound. So more Hound, naked enough. Uh, it's a little different take. I know that the gas can in the back turns into his gun. He's got an actual work out there. There's a launcher. More Hound. More Hound for everyone. It's a prototype, so it is still working. Okay, so now TFC is going back to their old ways. Okay, so two silhouettes they tease will be revealed here at the Upcon. And we're going to be starting off with Lyle Kaiser. Thanks, <laughs> God. Oh. I'm sorry for your hair. So, this is their first uh, kill bison for Thanatos, and he is still a breast master, so his, his target master component will combine with his chest. And he turns back into a flag tank. It's pretty cool. They did a good job with the elbow, but I think. And there's his target master, who's his partner. Next up, Minos, or Hellbat. Again, he retains his breast work faster. Uh, <laughs> friend, too. Good looking elbow. Uh, with the leg components, this, it won't have a scramble style. Uh, everyone is built in to where they need to go, like the old cartoon. Uh, the feet, the, like the leg blocks, don't need extra feet. They're already built into the design. The arms, however, uh, and there's his, his minion. So next transports. Everyone's pretty familiar with having a, a, a Polyon. Solid figure. Love him or hate him. The Andress. Scourge. Uh, now you'll see here his little Target Master Rimfire. We actually have him as an exclusive here uh, through the Madhouse Collectibles uh, booth. Here he is, is the elbow. And if you wouldn't mind playing that video for me, please.
Perfect, thank you. Going on to the next one, Elgos and Truncheon is their version of Cyclonus and uh, Night Scout. Wow. So we actually have the, the resin prototype outside of the case as well. Uh, and he does come with a lot of different accessories, different weapons, his little soul patch. And uh, he comes with a tiny little driver pilot called Abaddon. You see here, you can strike the back. I don't know if he can shake his fist yet, but here's all they're kind of mini master series, uh, boost and patch. They're taking on a tailgate. I didn't forget. Wind charger and tailgate. Uh, it comes with a G1 toy head and uh, patch comes with an IDW head and chest. Face and chest. Uh, then we have Arcos, their version of Beach Cobra. If you look closely at it, that hand holding a gun, uh, it's gold. So we have a hand painted test shot out in the, uh, in the display case as well. I'll be fairly sure of it. There's a nice render of the detail. Okay. Hero Hobby. Hero Hobby is a new company doing cheapy style figures. Uh, we have this adorable Grimlock out of the display case. Uh, it's even more adorable. <laughs> and his eyes roll and a few of his friends. To a more serious figure in Ultra Magnus. Uh, very cool, he's got the missile pods, he has now three wire hammer. Hammer turns into his gun. He also has that sample in the display case as well. You know this penguin. <laughs> That's my creation. So Spartan, their version of uh, IDW Factor. Different accessories, he's got a hook hand, got a drill hand. Wants to get in a bar fight, he's down for anything. Okay, here he's with his record teammate. And his very IPW inspired album. Okay, go with us. Okay, if you read the comics, you'll know who this is. The very metal slug looking all boat as well. Yeah, that's the fun color. More DJD goodness. I always said, why don't I have a toy that transforms into a chair? He's <laughs> <laughs> got a little picture to hold people down. Take that. Oh, God. <laughs> he looks good holding his teammate. They're very compatible. They look good together. Friends just hang <laughs> Can't be a chair all the time. <laughs> so, so Culture is obviously uh, their version of Tarn. Now this is just a render. Okay, not 100 percent final. We'll see more soon. Sweet double fusion cannon tank. It's so angry looking. Artifacts. Obviously, this is their version of uh, IDW's Overlord. He's a big fella. See some different uh, design sketches in his base mode, his individual modes. He's got a combined ship mode. Here you see the prototypes for both individual vehicle modes as well as the uh, base mode is humongous combined ship mode. Big as the big stars, he's huge. Okay. And there he is next to the other mammoths. He's a big figure. I can't wait. Great. New alpha in the reformat. Is a jet mode. Beta. It is a car. It's a ninja car. 
Max Line Perfection Series, starting off with Sphinx, their masterpiece version of Mirage, which is actually in the, in the case as well right now. Highly detailed, highly bolted, everything you think it should be, it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, little pen, sorry, let me go back. Will it fit in the trailer? The hologram driver. to the Decepticon side of the Perfection Series. Inflecto, cool as anything. Okay, rounding out the last of the auction wheels for now. Potesta. We'll so the next panel is going straight into Fan's project. Now they've kind of put it together themselves, so we're just going to sit back and let them do it. Make sure that sounds working. There is sound.
Process. Thanks so much for coming here.